Let's begin government. is essentially the weekend of finals. Sure, and sure. We we'll talk of the Copa and then the real final. But yeah. also in Africa, there is a CAF competitions final, sure. which is um, the equivalence of the Europa League in Europe. Mm. So, um, as you mentioned earlier, on, GS Kabila against Raja Kabila, I think I think it's only fair. And um, I build up from I mean where the journey all started. So Raja Club Athletic, they were the champions of Morocco in the last season. So essentially, they started from the Champions League, and because they were a big side in the Champions League history. Um, they got a pass in the first round of qualifiers, which meant that they had to win just one game to make it to the group stages of the CAF Champions League, which was against FC Tanguay of Senegal. But unfortunately, mm-hmm. the first leg of that game ended in a goal level. The second leg, which mm-hmm. was being played in Morocco, ended in a goal level. But then in that game, it rained very heavily, that the rain impeded mm-hmm. the fluidity of the game. But mm-hmm. the game still continued and it ended in 0 0 on penalties. Raja Casablanca were surprisingly knocked out of the Champions League. That's how come they got into sure. the CAF Confederations Cup. For GS Kabila, they started from the Confederations Cup because they were fourth on the Algerian League. Mm. And because Algeria have two spots in sure, Africa sure. for both um, Champions League and Confederations Cup. Cup, they got a, a place into the Confederations Cup. They won their first game um, in the qualifiers and then their second round in the qualifiers also against Stad Malian mm-hmm. also won it again got into the group stages. So in the group stages for JS Kabele while well, they're in group with Kothun Sport, the Gawa and also Napsa Stars and then Ares Bekani who were the champions of the previous edition of the CAF Confederations Cup. But surprisingly they won um both home and away they won both home and away against Kothun Sport. And um, they also played a draw against Napsa Stars away and then won at home and then drew two games against Paris Mechanics. So they went through their group stages of meeting and then topping their group four. Um, Raja Cup Athletic well they were in group with Namungo also in Kana and then Primate Sepsi and Primate Sepsi were the, the finalists of the previous year's edition. But surprisingly they won all their group stages. Mm. Went both home and away all their group stages games. They won it, that's Raja Club, Club Athletic. Sure. And they didn't even consider a goal in all their six games they played in the group stages. They went to the round of 16, their quarter final stage against Orlando Pirates. Um, they drew in South Africa 1 1 and then won by four goals to zero in Morocco. So, I mean, very emphatic 5 1 away victory for MJS um, Kabile in the quarter final. They mm. won 1 0 away against CS Fasi and that's from they are from Tunisia and then also drew 1 1 in Algeria. In the semi final, they played against Cotton Sport, who they were in the same group with. They won 2 1 away and then 3 0 at home. So that was a 5 1 win for them. That's um, JS Kabile. And then for uh, Raja Casablanca, they played against Primates FC. They were in the same group with Primates also. They won 5 0 in the group stages, but then in the semi final stage, they were able to get a 0 0 draw in each game, okay. which brought them to the final to the game we have today. So to the game today, um, essentially for the Raja Casablanca side, they are very strong sure. side, especially very well balanced team. Sure. The whole tournament, they've considered just one goal, which was the goal they considered against um, that is Orlando Pirate. So to, to, to go through a whole tournament, especially in Africa, mm-hmm. travel away mm-hmm. and not consider a goal, it, I mean, it's, 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 it's an unbelievable feat. Sure, sure, they sure. look to round it up by winning the victory. The last time they played in the Confederations Cup was in 2018, and then they won it actually. They played against AS Vita mm-hmm. in the final and won it, and then went on to win the Super Cup also against Esperance de Tunis. So okay. they'll be looking to repeat the same feats this season. And in their team, they have some star men who have been very astounding. Sure. And they have Sofian Rahimi. He has scored four goals and three assists for them. And Sofian Rahimi is actually, was actually the best player of the last turn, which was played. Um, he, he, plays from, he played from Morocco in the last turn, and he was the best player. So he's in this um, Raza Casablanca team. They also do have Ben, ben La- Malango. He plays for the DR Congo national team. Also, a very powerful striker. He's their striker in Lazy. Like, he scored five goals for them in this competition. And also, their goalkeeper is Anaz Niti. Mm-hmm. He's the second goalkeeper of the Morocco national team, but he's okay. been very formidable mm-hmm. in the competition this season. He has considered just one goal okay. in all the games he's played so far. And also, they do have Oyas Haddad. He leads the defense okay. for them. So, these are some some of the tough men for Raja Casablanca, mm. for them in the team. And then for, that is um, J.S. Kabili, they have Mohamed Walid Ben Sharifa. He is, he is actually a fullback, a wingback for them, but then he, he plays so powerfully and wonderfully well, makes lots of daring runs into a position that he has two goals and also two assists in the competition this around. And he's, he's their second top scorer. The Kabili team, is they mostly love to play as a team. They don't mostly depend on one one two shine mostly you see the team gelling mm. very well together also do have benjamin benchara he also plays the other fullback position okay and then also they do have that is Mohamed karoom he is the creative man in the okay gs Kabila team so it's going to be a very interesting day today so who wins 
the game will be played mm. in Benin. You know, um, previously <laughs> in Africa, the finals were played on two legs, sure. where they play one home and then one yeah, away back. Yeah, yeah. But the new police of CAF, they now it's play one. the final in just one game. And it's in Benin, so the, the, I guess in a, a neighbor's <laughs> Benin. They start sure, sure. the Lamite Stadium in mm. Kotunu. That's where the game will be played. Okay. So, so who is winning? Africa football uh -huh. will be watching a who lot. Is I mean, I'm interested in that one. Yes, the, the, the odds are in favor of Raja Club Atleti because, I mean, you look at the, the sort of how they've played from the group stages mm -hmm. to this stage. But then I look at the GS Kabila team also and then with how they play as a joint unit. And mm -hmm. even the fullbacks are getting goals because they love to stretch play. The, the strikers don't mostly play in the central position. They love to stretch opposition, the opponents and then okay. allow oppos the, the other midfielder to walk into the attacking zone. So, um, I, I wouldn't really be surprised if the game ends in a draw mm. and then maybe penalties decide. Penalties decide. Yes. Okay, thank you very much.